Today on the patchwork quilt, we are going to be turning this into this. Into this. Into this. for our project is a lamp. Now this lamp is old and it's pretty heavy. Mm. The heavier the better because you know it'll sit down better if it's heavy. Now you want to take this cord and you want to cut it down here. Now if you want to you can always splice this back together afterwards and make a pendant light out of it. You don't have to you can throw it away if you want to but pendant lamps are pretty cool so pendant lamp just say it. Remove the bottom of the lamp. It's usually just a piece of felt. If your lamp is like mine, you have to pull the cord out of the little hole in the base. And then you want to go ahead and unloosen this nut that holds the lamp together. Generally, you want to do this with a pair of pliers. All I had were wire cutters, so we're just going with it. Um, after you break it loose, which might take a couple of tries, especially if you're using wire cutters, then you should be able to just take it apart with your fingers. Here you're going to be taking off a nut and a washer and you need to set both of these aside for later because you are definitely going to need those. After the nut and the washer are off, you should be able to remove the base. Mine has a weight in it, which I was going to take off too, but I just took the whole base off. After you get the base off, you can see the rod that holds everything together. You are going to pull this out from the other end of the lamp. Set the middle piece of your lamp aside and grab that rod that we just took out because we have to do a little bit of work up here. The top of this rod is also threaded so you need to unscrew it from the coupling that it is in. Pull the rod off of the wire and set it to the side. You're going to need this for your final assembly. Now you're left with a spacer that you can take off and throw away because you don't need that one. Now you're going to remove this female coupling. Um, the inside of it is threaded so that the male parts can go in. You're definitely going to need this so save it for later. After you get that off, you're going to take the part where your lampshade would attach to and you're going to save that because you're going to need that as well. At the very top you have a set screw that you need to loosen. After you get that set screw loosened, go ahead and grab your pliers, or in my case wire cutters, and unloosen this nut that is right underneath your light assembly. Unscrew this the rest of the way and then set it aside for later because you're going to need it. After you get everything apart, go ahead and wash everything really well. The next thing you need to do is spray paint your lamp. I got this can of spray paint at the Dollar General, so it wasn't really expensive. It cost me about $1.50, and 
and I'm just going to go ahead and give everything a good even coat. All right, first thing you're going to do is put your rod back through the main part of your lamp. Then you're going to attach your base. My base had two parts, a round one and then a square one. After I get the two parts of the base back on, I'm going to thread one of the nuts onto the bottom of the lamp. Now flip your lamp back over. This might take a minute and you want to hold on to that rod at the top as best you can so it doesn't fall back through. Then you want to take your female coupling and tighten it down on top of that male end of your rod. Tilt your lamp up so you can get your hand under it and grab that nut you put in on the bottom. This is going to help you with tightening down your coupling. Now it's time to attach the pot. So go ahead and take your pot and put it on top of your lamp. If you can see, my washer is already in place. I'm then going to take the piece that holds the lampshade onto the lamp and set that down on top of that hole. Next, I'm going to take the male end that I took off of the lamp earlier and I'm gonna screw that down into the female coupling. At this point, you probably really do want to get you some pliers and tighten down those two nuts that are on top of that male piece. Since I only had wire cutters, I just hand tightened it and then I'll go back later when I find my pliers and tighten everything down really tight so that it doesn't come apart. Well, that concludes our lamp turn garden urn video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you'll try to make them for yourself. I made both of these, I would say, for under $20. Um, I bought these pots at the beginning of the year at Walmart, and I had a whole nother plan for them, but you know, that fell through, because things fall through sometimes. So here they are as garden urns. They cost me $10. Uh, the lamps, like I said, I already had these, but you can go to Goodwill and you can buy a lamp for, I would say, probably two to three, maybe five dollars tops. So go to Goodwill and buy you a lamp. Check out the Walmart or your garden center and see what kind of pots they have on clearance. And I'm sure you could probably make these for under ten dollars. So I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you next time.